Hey quad bros, welcome back to another quadro quickie. Today we're talking about vertical versus horizontal recoil. If you guys don't know, there are two perks in the game that reduce your overall recoil while firing. They both say it happens while standing, but it actually happens all the time. Uh, and the question is, do I take vertical recoil reduction or horizontal recoil reduction? And I'm going to tell you guys outright in most situations in the game, you're going to want vertical recoil. And you might think that's weird because typically in games you want horizontal recoil reduction because horizontal recoil is harder to control. It's random. It goes left to right and you can't predict that. While vertical recoil, you just got to pull down, right? You just pull down on your mouse or pull down on your, on your uh, thumbstick, joystick, thumbstick, and uh, you, you, you're good, right? But the thing about it is that number one, First off, vertical recoil reduction is only uh, 14 points versus 16, which means if you're playing as a class that has high amounts of weapon handling skill, you can you know sneak in some other perks. And at worst, you can sneak in this nice 25% shot spread after quick turning perk, which is nice to have. It's definitely a good perk. I should probably reroll this guy and pick that perk up. But the other major thing about this is that the 30% firearm horizontal recoil is only 30% for horizontal versus 40% for vertical, which means you're going to get more out of your perk for vertical versus horizontal. And when we come and look at the weapons in Enlisted, we can see that the majority of weapons actually have much higher vertical than they do horizontal. The BAR, the WAR, the, uh, the BARA1, the Bren, right? Um, the 1919A6 actually has more horizontal. Um, that is one of the rare exceptions. But if we if we continue looking through these weapons, right, the M1 Garand, much higher vertical. The that's annoying that it closes that. Um, right, the Thompsons. Where's the Thompsons? There's the Thompsons. Much higher vertical versus horizontal. And so what this basically means, guys, is you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with going for vertical versus horizontal. And on top of this, the M1A1 Thompson here says that it has 30, 40 vertical and just 15 horizontal but it's actually much lower than this because if we were if we were to reduce you know 15 by 30 percent that reduces it by what five so we're getting it down to 10 horizontal but actually the m1a1 thompson has less than 15 horizontal recoil because there's hidden modifiers and enlisted that apply to many many weapons in the game and so this actually has more like eight recoil or something like that i can't remember exactly what the horizontal recoil is but it's more like 10 or, or even less and so you're actually reducing it by even less and once you get down to it it's such a negligible effect that that horizontal recoil reduction perk is applying to your weapon and applying to your soldier that it just doesn't matter it's not noticeable you don't get anything out of it and so it's not helping you at all well even though vertical recoil for this weapon is at 40 or 20 or whatever it's supposed to be whenever it's reduced by the modifier it has a bigger effect and it's something you're actually going to notice most of the time now again there are some weapons in the game that don't follow this general rule again the 191986 i would pick up horizontal on this because it has higher horizontal recoil but generally speaking guys weapons are better off taking vertical than horizontal simply because you're reducing more because it's 40% versus 30% and you're reducing more because most guns have higher vertical versus horizontal. This changes in the future. We can switch over to horizontal, but as of right now, as of the making of this video, I got to go with vertical guys. It's what I pick up. It's what I recommend others pick up for the majority of weapons in the game. And that's about it. Guys, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It does help me out and I appreciate it. Let me know your guys' thoughts on if you take vertical or horizontal. Call me a big dum dum in the comments. I always love to have those discussions going and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.